Now, as it's almost November and Boss's brand new range of loop pedals is literally just about to launch and the holiday season is just around the corner, you might actually be looking at picking yourself up a brand new loop station. So in today's video, I want to help you clearly understand how many loop tracks and what type of loop station you actually need for the desired situation. Now there's actually a major point that you need to consider before deciding on which loop pedal you actually want to pick up and that is the genre that you want to loop within. Now for me, I'm a guitarist so I primarily focus on guitar looping. So for a loop pedal, I need one that I can control with my feet because my hands are obviously occupied playing the guitar. However, you may be a vocalist or a beatboxer, for example, who has the ability to use their hands and only needs to hold the microphone. So a tabletop looper, such as the RC505 or the RC202, may be better suited for the types of tracks you want to perform. Now the loop station that I choose to use is the Boss RC505. Now this is Boss's flagship loop pedal and it is a five track looper pedal. So it's on the higher end and also it's a very advanced live looper orientated loop station. Now I've had a great experience with the Boss RC505 and it's one of those loop pedals that allows you to do pretty much anything that you want to throw at it. But I did not start with the Boss RC505. My very first loop pedal in fact was the Boss RC30, which is a two track looper pedal. And then I soon upgraded to the Boss RC300, which is a three track looper. And I used that extensively for probably around six years. And then I finally got myself the RC505. Now you may actually be wondering why I just contradicted myself from the beginning of the video. Now I said the RC505 style of loop pedal would be best suited for a vocalist or beatboxer, but I'm a guitarist using the RC505. And I actually did a video ages ago talking about how you can actually do guitar looping with the Boss RC505 with some super advanced settings such as MIDI foot remotes, which is really, really interesting and it really expands the functionality of the looper. But the reason why I use the Boss RC505, even though I am a guitarist primarily, is because I have a fully fledged live looping rig and I'm a multi-instrumentalist while I perform. So I play the keyboards, I play the drum pads, I play the guitar, I also sing. So I have multiple different tracks that need to have their own loop layer within my performance so I can bring them in and bring them out to keep evolving the performance as I play on stage. Now there are actually many advantages to go with a loop station that actually has more loop tracks than you actually require. The first one is actually the fact it gives you more flexibility and creativity in how you can actually go about creating your live looping performance. For me with the Boss RC505, because I have so many loop tracks, I can lay out my performance in sections. So I can have a couple of tracks dedicated to my verse section. I can have two tracks dedicated to my chorus parts with different chord progressions, for example. And then the fifth track I can actually use for a bridge. So I have all these different layers and loops that I can use for different parts of the track when I'm layering my performance. Another advantage for going with a much larger loop station than you actually require is the fact it gives you room to grow as a performer. Now, I first started off with the Boss RC30, which is a two-track loop pedal, but after six months, I soon started to feel restricted by the two-track looper station, and I needed the third track of the Boss RC300, which I then bought, and I used it for many, many years, and then I felt restricted by three tracks, so I got the five-track loop pedal eventually with the RC505. But having that extra track on the RC300 really fueled the creativity in a totally brand new direction, and it also allowed me to start experimenting with more instruments. So I was doing guitar and vocal looping, then I added a bit of keyboards, and then I started adding the drum pads, and that's when I felt like I needed the extra two tracks the RC505 had. In my honest opinion, I think the amount of loop tracks that you require directly correlates to the amount of instruments that you are actually wanting to perform with. Now, if you're just doing guitar looping, for example, all you primarily need is a single track loop station, such as the Boss RC5. But if you want to mix that with a bit of vocal looping, you may actually want to take a look at a two track loop station like the brand new Boss RC500. This is going to allow you to sort of have one track for your guitar parts and a second track for your vocal parts. And then you can mix them together by overdubbing whatever you want to do. But it gives you that extra loop track for a little bit more flexibility. Now, if you want to start looking beyond two instruments, this is where you start looking at the three, four, five track looper stations. Now, the Boss RC300 is a brilliant option for anyone that wants to do guitar and vocal looping and maybe even something a little bit extra. That might be keyboards, 
something like that. But if you want to have a super advanced live looping setup like myself with my live looping rig, then the Boss RC505 is a brilliant option to choose because you can do so many different instruments. I have drum pads, I've got uh, keys, all sorts of different things within my performance. So I feel like if you're looking at doing more than four instruments, you're going to want to look at either the Headrush Looper board that has four loop tracks or the Boss RC505, which has a total of five loop tracks. Now, I will be reviewing the brand new Boss Loop Stations as they are released throughout November. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell to on so you get notified every single time I upload a video just like this. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.